Lily Kate. I'm 31, even though you don't ask a lady that. And I'm from Los Angeles for like six generations. In the bullshit way that every girl in LA models, like in college. For real, 2008. I answered a Craigslist ad because I was, I graduated from film school not only in 2007, which was the writer's strike, there's a WGA strike, but also like, like the world just started to fall apart financially. It wasn't like such a super great time to have a film school degree. I went to Kentucky for a while. I came back so my wife could finish school. I just like worked as whatever, an AD, sometimes an extra, sometimes a PA, like whatever work I could get. I saw an ad that was $200 to do a girl girl sex scene. I didn't realize that was a terrible rate at the time. I was just like, wait, so I'm gonna get $200 and sex. Okay. It was the moment that I discovered two things. One, that straight girls were real. And two, that I could totally do this job. I was a dominatrix for a hot minute and I was in college. I uh, trained horses for the racetrack before that. Sometimes like when guys would give me shit, I'd be like, have you seen like my horse? He weighs 200 pounds, his dick is three and a half feet long, what the fuck do you have on me? And like, this shit works, like, even though it's somewhat of a threat display. Like, uh, so much of, like, controlling people is about emotional energy, not, like, actual physical strength. So I started pursuing it, I tried to get into, like, queer porn, but they didn't really like me. I think I'm a little bit too L.A. I'm, like, less activist, more subversive, less overtly activist with my content. I like to, like, upset people, which is not necessarily what people in the San Francisco queer porn scene like. And so I approached, like, sweetheart video girlfriends, kind of got in with those guys, and then started making my own content. I like to, like, force people to look at things that they wouldn't necessarily think about. Like, I like to fuck with people, so they're like, oh, this is hot, but, like, what does it say that you think this is hot? So, like, guys tell me all the time that they wish they were me, or that they're jealous of me. Or like, you wish make me wish I were a woman. I don't like the girls that don't want to be there. Like, I don't like having to go to set and like, do this massive emotional labor to either open my heart or like, fuck up this girl. You know, who's like, not really. It's like, baby, like, why are you even here? Oh, for sure. Like, because it feels good. It's like, when you're in the zone, you're like in it. It's like similar to riding a racehorse or driving a really fast car or like creating something. Whereas this rush of like just being like in the moment emotionally. I like a band called Gangster Grass a lot. I like listening to like various kinds of EDM music because I have gone to like Burning Man a lot of those festivals. So it brings back, like, good memories. I don't know so much care about, like, what band it is. It's more like just, like, this kind of music. Puts me back in that place. Um, I like bluegrass music. And I just like hearing music that women that I slept with made. So right now one of my favorites is Camel Toe. She's gonna come out with her EP in, like, five days. And she's fucking amazing. You can also hear her stuff on my feature Heartbreaker. To ride horses, I have, like, a sport fuck problem. I just like to, like, I slept with 4,000 women. Uh, right now, I've taken to renting cars on production budget and making my camera guy drive me around. I'm trying to write two novels, depending on which aspect of my menstrual cycle I'm in, as to which of them I feel. I, like, do handcrafts sometimes, like, knit and crochet and sew things. Like, I'm, like, much more domestic than people think, and I love to fucking cook. Published author with a stand-up career and, like, some engagement with the mainstream. Um, I don't want to say Hollywood, because it's really not Hollywood. Like, I'm on a festival circuit now with, like, feminist and sex festivals, and I want to raise that up to a little bit more wider fan base, let's say. 